Hi, I'm Brandon Shane, Precision Farming Specialist for Whip and Craft Company. I'm here to talk to you today about some of the precision planning features on this 2130 series planner. We'll start at the front of the row unit with the row cleaners. This planner is equipped with Precision Planning Clean Sweep, which is an air cylinder that attaches to the row cleaner frame and adjusts um, down pressure on the row cleaners. You have three settings um, that you can adjust from the cab. The first is going to be full lift, um, which means that the row cleaners won't be engaged with the ground at all. They'll be lifted up. Your second option is going to be float, um, which will let the row cleaners float independently on the ground based on these wheels. And then your third option is going to be full down. For the full down option, you have the ability to tell the display in the cab how much pressure you want held down on each one of these row cleaners and that's going to um, be affected by the soil conditions that you're planting into. So no-till conditions that are uh, harder to get cleaned, harder to get trash moved out of the way, you're gonna want a little bit more pressure down on these um, to get that achieved. Um, tilled conditions where you've got nice soft soil that you're going into, um, you'll be able to lessen that pressure a little bit. So we'll move on back to the metering system on this planner, and it's equipped with um, precision planning V drives as well as V set meters. These V drives are an electric motor, um, which gives us individual row shut off. So I've got an example of a V drive motor and a meter here that we're going to take a look at. And um, the first thing to notice is that precision planning uses a smaller plate. This is a corn plate that has 27 holes in it. Um, main reason for that is the V-drive motor is controlling the population and can spin um, this plate at different speeds to get different populations. Um, so we don't need quite as big of a plate. This half of the meter also houses our ejector wheel. This ejector wheel makes sure that um, the seeds are released at just the proper time. Um, if you're using a planter with a gravity um, seed tube in it, that's important to make sure that with we get the seeds falling straight down the center of the tube. Then the other half of the meter has precision singulator in it. And this is a five lobed seed singulator design. Um, the other thing to mention about precision meters is that they run at a higher vacuum pressure um, than normal seed meters do. And the reason for that is we wanna make sure that we're attracting multiple um, seeds to this plate on purpose because we know that this singulator is good enough that we can get all of the doubles knocked off and still be sure that we have a seed filling each plate on this seed plate. So as I mentioned before, um, these V-drive meters and as well as the motors give us individual row control across the entire planter. Um, so that's helpful for situations where um, you may want to use a prescription in a field um, row one can be applying a different rate of seed than say row two or three or even the other half of your planter. Um, and again, all of that is controlled by the display in the cab. So those adjustments are made in real time. This planter is also equipped with precision planning speed tubes. Uh, the speed tubes are a controlled delivery method for the seed. So the way this mounts in here um, is right on the back side of the um, V-drive meter and motor. and speed tube is grabbing the seed off of the plate, sticking it down into the belt, and then that belt is delivering the seed to the bottom of the trench, making sure that it's controlled. So we'll open up a speed tube here and kind of give you a full view of the belt. Um, again, at the top here, we have our large and small wheel that are grabbing those seeds off the meter and then delivering um, that seed down into the belt. We've got a seed sensor that sets right across here, counts the seeds as it goes by, and then they continue on down. Something to um, note about the speed tubes is the direction of travel of this belt is backwards of the direction of travel of the planter. And that's important because if our planter is moving forward and this belt is setting in here like this, delivering the seed down the front side of it and then spitting it out the back, we have our seed traveling backwards, our planter traveling forwards, and we get a motion that cancels out there, making sure that when that seed reaches the very bottom of the trench, it drops straight down.
Then the last thing I'm going to mention about this planner would be the closing system. And this planner is unique because it has an air adjusted second stage closing wheel on it. Um, so we're able from the cab, we're able to say how much closing pressure we want down on this disc. Um, kind of similar to how the clean sweep's working up front, this is just some other adjustment that's there um, for changing field conditions. So if you've got um, hard soils or no-till conditions where you need to be sure that um, we're putting pressure down on these discs to keep them in the ground, you can apply more force. If you've got lighter soils that are going to be easier to close, um, you can take some of that pressure off. These are just some of the precision features on new 2100 series planners. For any questions you have, um, stop into your local Wickham Tractor dealer and talk to someone in sales.